A number of in vitro diagnostic tests are based on the specificity of interaction between antibodies and antigens. When soluble antibodies react with insoluble particles, such as bacteria, the antibodies link the bacterial cells together, forming an agglutinate. When certain viruses, such as the measles virus, are mixed with red blood cells, the virus particles react with structures on the surfaces of the red blood cells, causing hemagglutination. If the patient has measles, the serum will contain antibodies against the measles virus. If the patient's serum is mixed with measles virus and red blood cells are added, hemagglutination will not occur. Antibodies reacting with the virus particles prevent reaction between the virus and the red blood cells. Agglutination tests can also be used to measure antibody titer. In the tube test, a specific amount of antigen is added to a series of tubes. Serial dilutions of serum-containing antibody are then added to each tube. The greatest dilution of serum showing agglutination is determined, and the reciprocal of this dilution is termed the antibody titer. When soluble antigens such as proteins react with soluble antibodies, they form a precipitate. If the antigen solution is layered on top of the antibody solution in a test tube, a precipitation ring forms in the area where the two solutions make contact. The precipitin reaction also occurs when antibodies and soluble antigens are mixed in the proper proportions. The antibodies link the antigens together to form a precipitate that settles out of the solution when it becomes sufficiently large. Immunoprecipitation increases as more and more antigen is added. When the optimum ratio of antigen to antibody is present, called the equivalence zone, the maximum amount of precipitate is formed. If more antigen is added, smaller complexes and therefore less precipitate is formed. A graph of the amount of precipitate formed versus the amount of antigen added shows the amount of precipitate increasing until the zone of equivalence is reached. As the amount of antigen added becomes in excess of the antibody, the amount of precipitate decreases.